this is Paul. Uh, welcome to Saturday, the 6th of October, uh, 2018. Sorry, I'm a little out of it. Uh, but this is my 200th embed vlog, believe it or not. I should have done something, uh, explored uh, something more fanciful for it, but this has been a crazy week for me. Actually, um, I started off like a normal week, and um, you know, I'm going to work and everything else, but uh, if you follow me on uh, Instagram and on Facebook, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, what happened was Monday, I work, I do the, I work with, we work, let me explain a little explanation. We work in a print shop, and it's me, I'm trying to think how many other guys that's in there. One, two, three, four, five. It's five of us, and we work kind of in a enclosed space. I mean, it's not that wide, so we, you know, we're in close contact with each other. You know, we're always crossing paths with each other and stuff, and we sit next to each other, obviously. And um, what happened is uh, the guy that usually opens up for us, he uh, he had the cold. He came to work Monday he was sick. Literally, he came sick. He was he was coughing and all that stuff, blowing his nose and stuff. And I said, oh, God, because <laughs> I just knew that when guys are sick, especially you work in a tight, close area like that, you're going to spread germs. There's just no way around it. Okay, you're going to spread the germs. And I'd rather people stay home than come to work. But anyway, he came to work, and and that's what we had to, <coughs> had to deal with that day. And then, of course, Tuesday, he called out, he called out because, you know, he said he was sick. So I said, okay, that's fine. He's going to stay home and I thought he I thought he would stay home for a couple of days actually to be honest perfectly honest. I thought he was gonna stay home at least till maybe Thursday or Friday and then come to work wait till he got over it. But he didn't came to work actually on Wednesday. He took off on Tuesday, came to work on Wednesday. He was still still sick. Okay, mind you. And I sit right next to him. I mean he he sits or to the my right. And uh and sure enough, Wednesday I started feeling achy, my head started hurting and you know, I got tea after work, tea with lemon and stuff. It still didn't work. And then that Thursday, Wednesday into Thursday night, to Thursday, uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, I was so, um, my throat was hurting. It was killing me. And, I, you know, I basically sleep on my back, you know, laying this way. I couldn't do that because I couldn't get comfortable that way. I had to basically sleep, not standing up, but kind of sitting up in a way. I had to arch my pillows against the wall here. And kind of sleep, you know, like sideways that way. Cause I, and I wind up tossing and turning all night and just even sleeping that way on this end of the bed. I usually sleep on this end of the bed. It's just because I, I was just, you know, I was achy and, and feverish. And I knew he passed his cold to me. And that was no way around it. I was trying to avoid That's why that, thir that Wednesday, I, at lunchtime, I bought the uh, this Dayquil uh, cold and flu. And I even, we even sprayed the. The Lysol and stuff, and, but sure enough, he, 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 I got sick from him because, like I said, I was going right around it. He was sitting right next to me, so I picked up his cold and easy. And the ironic thing is, they were giving flu shots uh, uh, that week and the week before, which is an ironic thing. And but anyway, uh, I got his cold literally, so I had the time off, so I took off Thursday and Friday, and. Uh, like I said, Wednesday night, it, Wednesday night to Thursday was the worst for me. I just, I mean, I was tossing and turning and just everything else is really, that sickness really got to me. And so I took off Thursday from work and I took off Friday because like I said, I have the time, I have the sick days, I have four sick days left. So I took those two days off because I just had to. I just, there's no way I wanted to go to work and pass my cold on and I don't even miserable being at work being sick. So, and then plus, you don't want to pass cold on to anybody else, too. So I said, hey, let me just stay home. And, and I said to myself, if I wasn't feeling better on Saturday, I would, you know, there's a clinic thing that you can go to on something, I think, seven days a week. I'd go there and maybe give them, have them give me some antibiotics and take that to help me get over. But I'm, actually, I started feeling better uh, yesterday evening. Uh, like I said, I was t taking this uh, multi sifted cold relief, and then, all, you know, I had the runny nose, the sore throat, sore throat was the first night, and the second day I had the runny nose thing, 
And uh, well, the first day, well, the first day I got sick. I had the headache, then the sore throat, and then I had the runny nose. And then, like I said, yesterday I started uh, in the evening. The runny nose kind of ended, <laughs> so I could breathe, so I could actually sleep. Yeah. So I start feeling better. And right now, I still, yeah, I still feel the cold a little bit on me, but I'm feeling better now that I am. Uh, and I'm going to take. Uh, so this cold relief, I'm going to take it today. Take it. I didn't take the nighttime one last night because I was feeling better, so and I and I could sleep, so I didn't take the nighttime one. But I'm going to take the daytime one now and take the one when I eat. And again, this evening, usually on Saturdays, I eat one. You know, during the week, I eat three times a day, my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But usually on the weekends, I only eat twice. I usually eat in the morning or and then usually in the evening. So today, I'm going to eat in a little while. I'm going to wash up and eat. And I'm gonna take the day, daytime cold relief and uh, take it in the evening when I eat this evening. So, like I said, and normally I was gonna go to the movies today, but I'm gonna stay in today and tomorrow so I can feel better. Like I said, I'm feeling better. The cold is, uh, I feel like the worst is past of it because I don't have, like I said, the runny nose. I don't have the headache, but I do feel the little, I feel a little bit of it still in my system. So. I, like I said, but staying home was the best thing for me to do to get over this cold because there's no way I was gonna uh, go to work and and pass it on to other people. Like I said, and there's a part of me that's pissed off that he's got to take it off. For not taking off, he should have just took off the rest of the week that he was sick. But but I don't know if he has the days or, or the time or whatever. But I mean, that's the truth. Is the truth. I mean, when you work in a confined area like that, and one person's sick, you gotta pass it on to other people. That's so the, the selfless thing to do, to me at least, is to take off until you're better, okay? And then come and don't pass the cold on to everybody else. And that's what happened. When it, and luckily, like I said, it worked out for me because Thursday, Friday, and then I got Saturday, Sunday to recover. So, and like I said, I'm recovering now, so which is a good thing because I hate being sick. And I was not sick this whole year, I don't think. It was maybe early January right? of this year I was sick I think a little bit I think I was sick then I think I took one sick day because I have four sick days left so I think I took one sick day in January where I think I was sick but I got over that but ever since then I wasn't sick the whole year but once this guy came came in with his this coughing and sneezing and wheezing I said oh god and then sure enough I got I got the cold from him he gave me the flu and that's the so way around I didn't get from nowhere else I was perfectly fine Monday going to work I was perfectly fine going to work Tuesday, even. But Wednesday, when he came in again, and he was still sick, I got it too, because sure enough, and lunch, my head started hurting, and I knew that was a sign that I was trying to fight it. I, like I said, I took the tea with lemon after work. Sorry, that's my computer. Uh, I took, sure enough, right after work, I t you know, took tea with lemon. I, I took Theraflu the day before. I was just trying to fight it, but I got it. From him, and usually the ironic thing, like I said, is we uh, didn't want to, you know, they would give out the flu shots. <laughs> it is, and usually when you get the flu shot, sometimes you get sick when you get the flu shot because they give you a strain of the virus, and it, it's supposed to fight it. The body's supposed to fight it, but maybe next year I'll get the flu shot because I think they're, they're giving it out. They were giving it out for a week, so I think they were giving it out the week last week. Unfortunately, like I said, I, I got the flu, so. Anyway, but I, so I'm feeling better now. My nose is not stuffed up. I can breathe, which is good. And uh, my throat is not sore. I can swallow without pain. And I don't have the headache. So, but I think I'm, I'm still have the last little bit of it to get over it, which is why I want to take take the, uh, the the medicine today. And I should be okay tomorrow. But just in case, I have like I said, I have the cold relief here. I have one set of pills that I could take tomorrow if I really need it. Uh, but like I said, uh, I hate being sick. And it really, uh, like I said, I really uh, hate being sick. That's just like, the worst, okay? Anyway, I'm sorry about that. So, my, again, my 200 embedded vlog, I should have really planned for it, but I, the, the sickness kind of threw me and put me off. <laughs> so, again, I apologize for that. Anyway, uh, so today's goal is... <laughs> Today's goals is I'm just gonna go out one time. Just I'm gonna go get something to eat, get some food, 
and maybe do a little movie sh shopping, maybe just do that, because it's on the same route, but I gotta walk. So, I like to say, I to go outside one time of the day to get something to eat. Like I said, I had soup the last two days, and that helped, and some, a lot of orange juice, <laughs> some water, so I, so I stay hydrated and stuff. And I'm going to drink some orange juice again today, and probably later today, exactly try to keep my body with fluids and stuff. Just try to get better. Like I said, I'm getting, I'm feeling that I'm better now. Uh, especially, uh, like I said, Wednesday night to Thursday night was the worst. My throat was killing me, and, and I knew this. And I kept cursing the guy. I said, Dad, you mother, you gave me the flu. You came to work, and you passed your cold on to me, and I caught it. Okay, so, you know, it's... It's like, whatever. Anyway, again, so, like I said, I'm going to go out later. Maybe I can watch, I don't know what movie I'm going to watch today. Maybe I'll watch two movies inside here today. Since I'm, I'm not going to movies. Like I said, I, I want to see Venom, of course, and uh, A Star is Born, but I'm going to be off. The, the good thing is I'm going to be off. Uh, i got two vacation days. And I'm going to take Thursday, and not Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Not Friday, Saturday. Friday and Monday coming up. And so I'm going to go see uh, Star is Born and Venom on Friday. This Friday coming up, and then whenever movie comes out this week coming up, I'll see that on Saturday. So, but uh, that kind of threw my movie going to schedule off and all that stuff. So, and I was supposed to work overtime actually today at my job, but the dude I work with, he got another guy to work with him, so they're going to do the overtime today. And uh, so, like I said, I'll go to the movies next Friday because I'm off, and then I'll go see the movie Saturday, and I'm off on Monday, which is good. Because I use my vacation time before I leave it. I got 12 days, so I'm gonna take two days this month, two days in November, and I'll take my eight days in December, and then I'll still have uh, two sick days left, which I want to keep in my pocket just in case I need it for anything between now and the end of the year. So I may just take one of those in December or something like that. But that's why I'm glad that I had the four sick days left. Okay, and I need it, which is. Which is, which is good, especially if this guy passed his cold to me. And so, and along with the weekend, it worked out. So, thankfully, like I said, I'm getting better, and I should be able to go to work on Monday. And, uh, again, I'm going to go uh, do a little movie shopping and, and food shopping and, uh, and get my behind back in the house, <laughs> pick my stuff up from cleans and get my behind back in the house. And, like I said, I'm staying in. Other than that, one time going out today, I'm not going out again tomorrow. The only time, next time I'm going out will be Monday to go to work. And like I said, I was starting feeling better yesterday evening. And really, after I, I ate and took the medicine, the, the runny nose dark stopped and stuff, and I feel better. Like I said, I was able to sleep. Actually, I fell asleep actually in my chair again, which, I, which to me is a sign to me that I'm getting better. <laughs> and I, you know, got up and washed up and went to bed, and I was able to sleep and. Actually, I woke up early. You know, I usually wake up my time that I wake up in the morning. I usually wake up at 5.50 when I go to work. I woke up and then I went back and I said, you know what? I'm, I'm making up for that extra sleep that I missed the, on those other two days. So I stayed in bed. So let me stay in bed until like 8 o'clock and then I'll get up and do this vlog. But then I was having trouble with my uh, uh, web camera uh, to coming on. So finally I got it to work. So anyway, so this has been an eventful 200th in bed vlog. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I said, I didn't have time to plan my 200th vlog. I wanted to do something maybe a little different, but, you know, sometimes fate has some, you know, life has uh, other plans, okay? So, again, I hope everybody have a great, safe weekend. Stay healthy. Get the flu shot if you can, okay? And maybe if I had gotten the flu shot last week, maybe I wouldn't have got sick, <laughs> ironically, because I know a lot of times people get flu shots and they might want to get sick. And maybe next year I'll tell... Uh, We'll try to encourage everybody to get the flu shot, but I know sometimes you get the flu shot, they give you like it's like a strain of the of the virus, right? And I think you're supposed to your body fights it and then you know you don't get sick. But so I know sometimes people do get sick. Fine. That's why I usually avoid getting the flu shot, but I think from now on I think I will get it. <laughs> Jesus. But anyway, I hope everybody have a great safe weekend. Stay safe and be well. Okay, again, I'll leave links to my social media in the description box so you can uh Check it out on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in the description back down below. And a uh, link to my other channel called Views and Opinions. Uh, please stay safe, be well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.